Hello everyone and welcome to part 2 of this Farming Simulator 2015 Let's Play. So, we're going to kick it off straight from where we left off. So, since last episode I've been reading um, through a, a few different forums and um, a lot of people are finding the game to be quite quite something it's it's very different and people are um sort of showing that um okay so where are we so it's tab three the combine right, let's set this guy hide pitch you should be right so yeah um what a lot of people are, are finding is a lot of different sort of small um, features like I haven't tested this yet but um, I've been told that if you press I think it's control or shift then there you go the farmer crouches um, I guess that's for when you're like I don't know like cutting down your trees or whatever but um, that's it's all these little things which um, actually quite impress me to be honest. Um, so we actually own that field over there. So let's get this guy seeding, shall we? Um, what am I doing? Select seed. What do we have? I'm guessing that's wheat, barley, grass. Corn. What? What's that? That's corn. Be nice. Is there a way of... Hmm. Right. Oh. Let's go across. Ah, right. Wheat, barley, canola, corn, potato, sugar beet, wood chips, silage. Okay, so let's... Storage... Down... So this is... I think this is a... Prices? Or... No, no, that's what we have in our storage. Okay. Biogas... Storage... How do I find out what um, the prices are? Or am I just being stupid? Um, I guess. Oh, is so it just here? Ah, it's here. I am being stupid. Okay, so let's bring these along. How many different places are there to sell? So, canola looks like it's the highest price by far. So, I think we're going to go with canola. Um, so it looks, what, which was the um, icon for canola, so it, that's what I thought was grass. Okay, so select seed is O, so it's that one, I think. Okay, um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. refill R, okay, there we go. So let's go and let's go and find the field of which put this. I am really loving this game. I just rendered part one and set it uploading. Um and I've just been wanting to get back onto this game. It's I just love it. There's something about it that is fresh and new and different from the previous games and that's something which I missed um, so this is really like front like what's the word I'm trying to say we do own this field don't we yeah okay so let's go lengthways rather than short ways yeah it doesn't feel very front heavy this even though it's got weight on it right let's line her up um, I'm guessing we Turn on sell, which is B. We're gonna hire a worker. Select seed, ridge marker. So I think if we do that and then press hire, he should sort of automatically. Okay, very nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so he's off. He's busy trundling away. What else do we have? We have this guy, which I think we're actually going to. Oh, look at this dirty texture, guys. Just 
proves that our workers are, are working hard. So, from the previous episode, I'm recording this straight after, or pretty much straight after. So I haven't seen any comments or anything like that. So we we need to come up with a name for our workers, really, don't we? In a minute, we're gonna have this a, a cedar um, worker. We're gonna have a cultivator worker and a combine worker. So we need three names, and I'm gonna leave that for you guys. Put it in the comments, and we'll I'll choose the best one which I think fits. So he's happy here, chundering away. Let's. What's the? Pr oh, there's actually something I wanted to check. Now, if I can remember. Sprayers. This is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need a sprayer soon. Um, is this the only sprayers that are in the? Seriously? Wow, that's that's surprising. I mean, for twenty thirteen, there was a massive um, sort of. You could. We're gonna need to save up for this aren't we so capacity maintenance working with you in blah 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 right okay so let's let's go and sell some grain shall we so where do we get this from I'm guessing here so what um, prices are what let's have a look shipping office transport company Windmill. Oh. What else is there? Grain elevator. So we have a lot of wheat because that's what I think that original field was. So the best place is the windmill. So map, which is I, I believe. No, nine. So where is the windmill? All the way over there. So, okay, we can do this, guys. We're going to adventure out of the map. Um, I'm not really sure how we how we get right. Start filling R. Okay, select the silo of those comments you want to load to your vehicle. We barley. Okay, so we did say wheat, didn't we? So, oh look at that! All of our grain. Okay, so let's bring up that map again. We need to. Go, which is the best way? It's probably back the way we came. Um, so out the farm, back way, or I'm guessing is the back way. It might be the uh, the front, but so it's this way. Take a left. Um, take a, another left. Follow the road round to a T joint. Okay, I've got this. So, so yeah, um. I'm I'm in love with this game so far, which is something I was a little bit afraid of when I was um, looking through the the topics. Um, I wasn't really much interested right at the start of um, when this game was getting announced. I wasn't, you know, getting into it. I think we can go straight over here, can't we? Yeah. So traffic. It's di I think there's a lot of different traffic actually. I can't remember vans being in there. Previous versions. I just love the dirty textures. I mean, look at it. It feels amazing. The um, the glass is also, you know, got a bit of a dirty feel to it. And this tractor, um, it isn't the newest of tractors, so it's not gonna be perfectly shiny, is it? But yeah. Let we, our main goal right now is to earn some money, save it for a sprayer because. But what a sprayer does is when you, um, when, if you spray your crops, um, you get a better uh, a yield at the uh, at the end of it. Once your crops have been are ready for harvest. Okay, so I think that's the mill there, if I'm correct. Looks like it, doesn't it? Hope so. Right. I'm also not sure of which side to drive on, because I live in the UK, so we drive on the left. I had to think about that. Yeah, we drive on the left. Um, so, I don't know if it's going to be different or what. But let's have a look at that van. So, they. Okay, so we drive on the right. How much money did we get from that? 5,000. So, that's, that's not too bad. Each trailer load of 
wheat, I think this was, yeah, wheat. We get about 5,000, I'm not too sure how much we actually put into the trailer by then. Um, or how much there was. But yeah, we're just going to have to see what we can do. Hopefully this harvest will have um, the free fields ready to harvest. We're going to do it in canola because the main goal, obviously, is producing as much money as we can. We need to we need to go for the most cash crop, I guess. Is a uh, canola in the same as um, I think pretty much all of the um, all of the previous games, as well as um, in real life, I guess. Um, OSR, well, o yes, yeah, OSR. I keep on saying. Anyway, um, it's a cash crop, so it's not for bales, but eventually we will, you know, we will sort of have a look into the other um, the other crops that are, are in the game. Wow this tractor's a bit slow. But yeah I have been looking at images and people um, have been testing out the bale um, sort of dynamics and, and how they react because in previous versions of Farming Sim it hasn't been the best um, to say the least. So they have been obviously a bit interested in that and so am I so we'll have to have a look at that but I'm definitely going to go for a um, an auto stacker because it just makes life easier so let's get under here, get another load R, how much does it take? so it took a lot um, so this should be only about half a trade of all there so let's take this so this today's well this video at least is going to be a bit more of a a sell um, video. We need to get rid of all these crops. Um, I don't think we need them, do we? Because um, we don't need the seed. We don't need it for seed, or should I say? So um. So yeah. And um, one of the new features being forestry. Um, it actually makes it every single tree in this game is now um, sort of harvestable, um, so you can you can cut it down, chop it down, but there's only certain types of tree that you want to cut down for logs to sell. Um, so I'm not too sure what you do with the ones which you cut down, um, and whether or not they grow back because in previous versions of the game. Um, I think it was 2009, and um, there was actually the chainsaw um, sort of mod, but each time you saved and went back onto the game, it was um, the tree had grown back. So hopefully it's going to be different this time, but it's all exciting. We're only at the start, but as I said, um, this series is whoa. This, I didn't look that way. <laughs> this series is going to be just no mods. Um, well, up in well, this well, yeah. I'm going to go with no mods because I want to enjoy the game the way which giants want it to be played. And um, some some mods um, do ruin the game a bit. And um, and I'm enjoying this game how it is. So why I don't see why I need to change it. So. Although, if any of you do want mods, then that's not a problem, I'll just shove some in, because um, the actual... I might just use the mods of which the um, official Giants team have made. Um, cause we know that that way they're going to be top quality, um, no errors, it's not going to ruin our save game. And that way, it's a lot safer um, as well. So, I think that's what we'll do. Um, so yeah, we'll, ch we'll, we'll get back to the um, farm and we'll have a look what the uh, R2 helpers are up to. But I love the feel of this game. It feels it feels fresh. I know I've said it a few times, but it really does. And um, getting towards the end of 2013, you sort of 
he didn't really feel like he wanted to, to play it. It's sort of something that well, I um, just went on to, to produce images and screenshots so it's it's nice to actually want to play the game and it's, it's I'm loving it so if any of you still haven't got um, this game yet like like I've probably said before um, it's definitely worth the wait don't be sort of disappointed in the fact that you haven't got the game of on time or whatever um, it's still the first day um, so we're gonna find out where Barley sells best now, but um, it's definitely worth the wait. Last night I wasn't too happy that um, Steam was um, um, un what the game wasn't unlocked um, like the same time which maybe some of my friends or a lot of other people were were getting it. So so yeah, let's have a look at Barley. Barley sells best. Do 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 seven hundred and. 13, 713, 732. So, green elevator. Let's have a look on the map where that is. Green elevator green. Okay, so that's actually not too far. So, I think we have to go this way out. We need to go on. To get on that side, there is a yeah, okay, and then okay, so it's, it's it feels quite nice actually having to learn the map. Um, it there's something about it, I just love it. All right, let's go sell this. Making money is always the fun part. We have 13,000 so far. What's this guy doing? He's doing well. About halfway through that field, did you say? But yeah, I think the first thing to take point for is definitely going to be a sprayer because um, it's going to increase our output quite dramatically, I think. But uh, we'll have to see. It's always paid off buying a sprayer, and it's always something that everyone's done. In, um, in other, I've gone the wrong way. It looks like we're going to be on a main road in it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I wasn't really paying attention. What's this place? This is. I'm not too sure. It hasn't got a tag. It looks like a like a mill maybe or something like that. So we need to take a right here. And then, okay. Doesn't look like this tractor uses too much fuel either, which is uh, quite nice. But um, what we'll do probably next episode is we will have a look at the equipment we don't need and um, we'll go through that, see if um, there's anything that we can make money off because at the minute that's pretty much. What well, our aim is is to get enough money to be able to upgrade our equipment and afford some of the big harvesters and everything like that. So we also need to expand our, our farm. We need to get some more land. How far are we away? Okay. What's this coming up here? Is that a question mark? Oh, that's a phone, isn't it? I'm not too sure what the phone is do, to be honest. Oh, that's a notice board. Ah. I'm not too sure what that is for. Hmm. I wonder what that place is. See, there's so much to, to, to find and everything. Up to a fuel station looking up here, and then we should be near near to our our destination. But this game runs flawlessly. It's 
the um, system requirements have been boosted for this game, um, but I don't really see much difference in my PC performance. Um, if anything, it actually runs a lot smoother, but that is might be because I've just upgraded my operating system and also an SSD, so it runs a lot smoother. Um, also my game, this game um, actually launches very quick. With Final Fantasy 2013 it, it would, I would sometimes have to wait sort of 10 minutes before my game would load. With this it just boots right up. Okay, so it looks like this is our, our destination. Just pull up in here. Unload. Beautiful. Alright. While that's doing that, I'm going to plan the route home. So, straight out of here, take a. Okay, so we actually went <laughs> the long way round. Okay, so let's see if we can get out of here with no troubles. So just like to go this way. And hopefully that dirt path. Wow, <laughs> literally the farm's there. <laughs> we went the absolute and utter long way round. But hey, we're adventuring. We have so much on this map. Can't wait. Can't wait to get into logging and also bales and, and everything. Trailer's getting a bit dirty. All of our equipment's getting some use. So that's the way we went, as you can see by the tire tracks. I think until um, we actually upgrade our combine, there's no point of upgrading our trailer because I don't mind taking trips to the, uh, the store to sell grain or uh, barley. There's no point of taking 300. Canola, okay, so canola. So this is the crop we're actually seeding right now. Um, so oh, the reason why I call it OSR is because where I live, um, it's it's not called um, canola, it's called oiled sea rape. Let's have a look. Where's the best grain elevator transport company? Okay, so the transport company looks to be the best price, but... I think we'll take it to the grain elevator because I know where that is. Um, trailers fill up to 94%. I also want to start using the in-cab view quite often. Um, a lot of people do say they enjoy it from the, uh, the in-cab view. So I'm happy to sit in, in the in-cab view. Nice warm cup of tea sat here. Very nice. Okay, so <laughs> we went <laughs> so far. Okay, so here we are. It's a good thing that this place actually has quite a high place because it's quite a uh, price, sorry. Because it's quite close to the farm. So we haven't got to travel miles to sell our crops. Well, we are 19,000. Oh, I've got that money. So we're, we're coming up to 30,000. What else have we got left? Yeah. Ah, my first crash! My first crash. <laughs> I actually really like these dirty sort of tyre tracks. I wonder what it would look like on. Um, when eventually um, mods do start getting released, um, I wonder what there's a, a mod very useful in 2013, especially for maps like this. 
which are very open. Um, uh, the mod was called Causeway. I think everyone has pretty much used Causeway, at least once in their fun familiar sort of experience. Um, what Causeway is is you can you can it's like a hired worker, but he drives. You sort of record a course sort of thing. So like we would be doing now, we would actually record what we're doing, and you can set the um, the course base to go, and he will actually drive that course. So it has a lot of different settings, or at least the the 2013 version did. Um, what have we got? Canola, corn. Okay, so corn's our last crop to be sold. But yeah, um, and it was very handy for doing stuff like this. You could you could get a massive amounts of oh, oh button. Um, I do apologise for pre pressing a lot of buttons. Oh look, we just got a. Um, a price rise for corn, which is good. Now corn isn't exactly a a very cash flowing crop, so best place looks to be on the transport company. I don't think we've been to the transport company. So I keep on pressing M to open up the map and I keep on pressing I to bring up the PDA. Right, transport company, transport, transport, transport. It is all the way up that way. So we've been we've been that way on our on our travels to try and find the green um, elevator. So let's go sell this load, and then I think that's where we'll call it an episode. Because uh, we'll have a whoa. It's very slidey this tractor. I'm not too sure it's meant to be like that or not, but it's all good fun. But yeah, the starting equipment in this game is not too bad at all. I can remember in previous versions of the game. Oh, he's finished. Let's quickly take a look at this guy. Okay, so he's finished as well. Let's bring this guy to the farm and we'll set him. Where are we? We'll set him um, working on the field of which we combined um, right at the start back in episode one. So which way do we need to go? Okay. I'm starting to sort of get a little bit of feel for this end of the map. We're gonna have to invest in a pressure washer, I mean we can't have our equipment looking like this. It shows that we use it though, I guess. In good usage. Look how dirty it is. Okay, so this this tractor has a um, an electronical display. Is it 26 miles per hour. Yeah. Okay, so it feels just there. I'll set the um this the seated guy going um, off camera um, just so the. Hi, this guy. This is a starting field, I guess. So off he goes. I really do like the um, cultivating animation. Okay, so this guy, I will leave there until. See, so like stuff like this. Um, in the next episode, we'll get rid of because we don't actually need that tractor. I'm pretty happy with a a tractor for both the cedar and the cultivator, and one spare just for me to to do odd jobs with. Right, so where are we heading to? We are heading all the way up to the transport company. So, okay, that's fairly easy. But look how much the um, the actual grain piles in the trailer. It's very nice. So far, I am in love with this game. That, could that be it down there with that big hole there? Can we go this way? Yeah, I think we can. So it looks like we, this is also where we sell the eggs um, on the 
little mini map down there, it has an, an egg icon, so pretty sure of that. There's a fuel station in front of us. Another one of those notice boards. In terms of money, so I'm guessing we can take out loans, which is something I don't really want to do right now because it feels a bit cheaty. Well, not really cheaty, but we don't really need it at the minute. We're I'm pretty happy to sell our, our crops and feel like we're actually earning our way. But in the future we might need to take out a loan. But I have to work out how to do that. Okay, so it looks like the cell place is straight in front of us. What's in that field? Is that just double? Yeah. That's just a harvested field there, so I guess when we buy it we just have to cultivate it straight away. It's a bit of a tight turn. Okay, so it's just there where the silos are. Very nice. Just there? Is it that place or is it... No, it's that place. Okay, got a bit confusing. Okay, so... You to empty it. Look at the also the unload animation. It it's very nice. I really the giants have done an amazing job with this um, this game. Right, that's where I'm going to leave it. I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to drive this guy back and set the cedar going. Um, and I might even do a little bit of work off camera just to get us sort of kicking along so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and also if you haven't checked out part one please go check it out um be very much appreciative um thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in part three